Dude. He totally just left without me. What the hell? Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of BeamNG Drive. I know it's weird seeing um, multiple videos for me in such a short amount of time, especially right now when I'm supposed to be on hiatus. But while I was going through Spencer's Patreon, I noticed that he had created this. This is an homage to the game that built this channel, The Long Drive. So I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. Map made possible by Komodo Gaming, Patreon wall, Journey, the long road. Drive to the other side to see mom. This is going to be fun. Well, I mean, I guess there's nothing really to do but get into it, so let's get into it. His page says that there's like Easter eggs and things. Um, hopefully my car choice isn't poor. We'll find out. So for us, not only are we going to have to go see Mom, but we also have to find our friend that left without us, because that's kind of messed up. We always said, what would, what would um, the long drive be like if it had the graphics of, or the crash engine of Beam and G? And judging by the screenshots, the uh, map doesn't stay foresty forever so I'm very interested to see what happens do 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 man I used to record the long drive for like four or five hours at a time uh, right now it's currently three in the morning so hopefully Spencer didn't put any jump scares in here otherwise I'm gonna start waking people up So, Spencer's Patreon, I believe, said that this map is a 16 by 16 size. Is that big? I don't, I don't, I don't know relative map sizes, I'm sorry. Ooh, is that the desert section down there? Oh, I'm also supposed to be looking for, like, Easter eggs and stuff, right? I know there was a watchtower. Should I have gotten out and gotten a better look at that? Am I the only one that thinks that now we're going at an alarming speed? Oh, boy. end up glazing my brakes. Can you glaze the brakes in a car? Is that only a semi-truck thing? I wonder if there's like Easter eggs in like the sky and stuff. Oh yeah, I can't look up because all I'm going to do is shove my camera into the undercarriage of the car. Oops, 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 oops. That's what I get for moving the camera. So I am planning on getting back into the long drive. Um, am I back fully though? No. Um, there are going to be long stretches of time where I'm not going to be able to post anything. Is that a cow? A cow. <laughs> uh, I have brain damage. A plane. That's reverse. plane looks like it's been here a while, which is kind of strange considering it crashed right next to a main road. Like you think somebody would have maybe taken care of that at some point? <laughs> Part of me wonders if Spencer got the idea of liminal spaces while making this map, because this map is, you know, like, expansive. It's going to be large, and we're going to go through lots of spaces, so... I wonder if the, like, map building, like demons spoke to him while he was programming this place and then it's at the top of my range 
Shouldn't this car have five gears? Three, four, five. Yeah, it should, right? I guess not. It's a four speed. Oh, we're cooking now. Hopefully, there's no turn. <gasps> Don't worry about it. it. Didn't happen. Don't know what you're about. <gasps> Cactuses. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be the long. Oh, telephone poles and everything. Spencer. Oh, can we drive through the cactuses like in the long drive? Oh. Um. No, we can't. <laughs> um, it's solid. As I said in the liminal, uh, liminal spaces video, I should have expected that from BMG Drive. I think <laughs> it is really fortunate that people just leave cars in the forest. I mean, the desert. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't don't read don't read into it. They didn't need their car anyway. What? I didn't say anything. I like the varying sizes of the cactus, honestly. That is one um one a criticism that I did have of the long drive that I don't think I actually vocalized that um just all the cactuses are exactly the same, which is a bit odd. Okay. I probably don't need to drive up and look at every single thing that Spencer put in the, f the desert. <laughs> oh, look at the sky. Alright, let's move on. I wish the long drive had a skybox like this. That'd be nice. The BMG also handles the, like, low tone kind of blue gray lighting that nighttime is a little bit better. But, I mean, it's a game with what, uh, 10 years of development now versus the long drive, which is five years? And of course, the difference in team sizes and resources and stuff. It's nice not having to look for gas. Do I need gas? I don't know. I don't have my fuel gauge up. Three thirty-five a gallon. That's cheap compared to here. Or is that a liter? Where does Spencer live? Regular, mid-grade, premium, and diesel. Spencer, these prices by a liter. Because if these prices are by a liter, everyone should be driving an electric car. I don't actually know if Spencer's Patreon or anything said to turn on the day-night cycle. I just did it because the um, long drive is a day-night cycle. And as you will notice, I did do this between cuts uh, here in the desert. I did not do it in the uh, forest section, which I actually do regret. Because I bet you the forest section would have been a vibe at night, too. Oh, Spencer, you did the shipwreck. Oh, amazing. It looks so good, Spencer. That is a key uh, long drive bit of kit there. 
the random shipwreck that implies that the desert was once an ocean. UFO? Spencer, did you put in the UFO? Oh, is it going to come over here and mess me up like the UFO in the long drive? Allegedly, there's like two different versions of the UFO in the long drive. I know the normal one, it like messes with your car a bit. But apparently there's also one that will like attack you. I've not encountered that one yet. It's over there making noises. Should, should we go to it? Oh. Oh, 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 frickin' Tick, tick Committed treason What happens if I drive into the light, Spencer? Oh, mistake, 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 mistake I guess the aliens are not friendly. Well, luckily, I managed to bail at the last second, and the last guy they abducted left his car behind. So, let's continue on. Ugh, this is the uh, disadvantage of picking up random cars in the desert. It is, unfortunately, an automatic. But I guess that's to be expected from an emergency service vehicle. Turn on the extra lights. Does it have any? Oh, it has. Oh, oh, oh. Not those lights. Those lights. There we go. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Let's go. You know, you'd think there'd be a radio in this truck or something because it's a Ranger vehicle, but I don't see one. I mean, there's a radio radio, like for music, but maybe the officer was carrying his handheld when he uh, said hello to the aliens. The fact that his car wasn't blown up is a good thing, though. Maybe he, maybe he had a good visit with them. Not, not, not so sure about the fact that the keys were in it, but, you know. They're aliens. They can probably just... Summon him a new vehicle. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Oh, another burned out car. What do we got here? The diner. Okay. I like I like Spencer's little little designs of the buildings. Come to think of it, this is a park ranger vehicle. I wonder if that means that this desert is a national park. Well, that would make sense. We've got national parks that are deserts, like Red Rock Canyon and well, the Grand Canyon. And I think Death Valley, California is also a national park. Oh, are we going to drive through a shipwreck? How exciting. But before we do that, did anybody else see that dirt road behind us? I will always think of you. I see your face when each day is through and days go past. Oh, so fast. But memories, they last. Summer, winter, year by year. I hear this song inside my ears Time to restart That'd be smart The thoughts of you on my heart Oh, I don't want to be alone now Just bide my time I need somebody dearly and darling, 
you'd be sublime Spring and summer up and down I keep trying to escape this town and I just might I'll take flight Maybe tomorrow, not tonight It wouldn't be a Long Drive-esque video without random songs. I used to do that in the Long Drive videos because I was literally recording for like four or five hours and I would just get bored. <laughs> Especially like in the... That looks like one of the buildings from the Long Drive. Like actually. Oh, is that Carl? Spencer, you put in Carl. I don't know how much of an inside thing Carl is for the long drive. I'll put a picture of him on screen if I can uh, find him. I think his name's Carl. Oh, Carl, you look so good. Look at you. Very, very true to the original. <laughs> I can't drive Carl. <laughs> Carl! I hope his name's actually Carl and not like Carla or something. I think it's Carl. Oh, you look so good, Spencer. You, that that's that's amazing. Can I just turn out from here? Probably. Yeah, easy. Ooh. Looks like we're coming up on a city here, but it doesn't look like it's, uh, doing too good. Was Spencer the one that made that, like, post-apocalyptic city map that one time? I mean, it was a while ago. This has vibes of that map. I know Neil made a video on it. Uh, I'll put like a thumbnail or something if I can find it again. At least there aren't any random rocks in the middle of the road like the long drive. I mean, I'd... Mm. I'd be able to handle them in this truck. Hey, it looks like we switched biomes. This looks like more of a, um, like a foresty kind of, uh, not forest, like, you know, like plains. Not like the, oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> We got lucky, though, because it turns out that one of the boulders that was lying around nearby was actually just a gray covet, and the keys were in it, so I guess we can continue. Let's go. Oh, it's a stick. Oh, boy. All right, back to shifting. Ah, back on the road. So yeah, like I was saying, um, it's a plains area now, which is another biome that exists in the actual game. It's very interesting playing a BeamNG drive like this, because literally before liminal spaces... <gasps> oh, I thought... Uh, uh, <laughs> memories of the long drive, I thought that was a bunny. Um, yeah, before playing liminal spaces, I had only played BeamNG as... Her, 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 crash, car crash game. Um, but both of these maps have been not that, even though I've crashed a couple times. Don't worry about it. Feels like we're in like Scotland or something now. Very green. I like it.
that was another thing about the long drive that was very strange. Um, you know, the whole story is, you know, you live in the desert, it's post-apocalyptic, rada, rada, rada. Um, but after just a while of looking at the desert, we were just like, oh my god. And then they put in winter, which brought in snow. And then they left winter in too long, and we were like, okay, I hate this now. And then they put the sand back, and we were like, yes, the desert, I love the desert. <laughs> And then shortly after that, they came out with a grass biome. So then you could choose grass or desert. Um, and now there's mixed biomes. So as you're driving through, you'll switch between the grass, desert, and snow vibes. Which is just perfect. That was a good call on their part. God, imagine if Muya found this map and we, we, we did hypermiling on this. Oh, none of us would make it. Absolutely none of us would make it. Oh, it's so pretty. I gotta be careful though, because Beam can actually simulate slippery roads. Well, that was very unfortunate. Let's see if we can get the hood open. Ugh, I don't I don't think so. I mean maybe we can try like reconnecting the battery or something. Uh, there's 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 definitely some pieces missing there and then there's the wheel problem. Uh, and all that's around here is like snow. Oh? Oh. Huh, I guess I didn't see this earlier cuz it's white and it's parked in the snow. I get all right, you know. I'll take it. I'm starting to wonder if what I've been doing constitutes car theft. I mean, they're unattended. I mean, technically speaking, you could take any car in a parking lot and not get in trouble, right? If you're wondering why I'm not drifting these turns, it's partially because I cannot drift, and partially because it is still around 4 in the morning here, and drifting is loud. Try try take your headphones off one day while you're drifting around tracks in your game, and see how much noise your shifter and wheel setup make. It's not a quiet, it's not a quiet activity. I remember one time Muya brought us into a map and he was like, hey, we're going to do drifting today. And I was like, oh, oh no. So everybody was like busting out drift cars and I had like a, um, what is that sad car? Um, you know, the one, you know, the one, you know, the one. Everybody else was in drift cars and I was driving. I think it's a Miramar. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. But I'm like uh, trying to rip that thing around turns and it's just not working out, obviously, because it's a Miramar. <laughs> These roads need to be salted. Oh, she's uh not quite going straight anymore, front to back. <laughs> That's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Do, 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 do. Accidentally shifted back into first. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
<laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Calm down, car. No, 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 no. Oh. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. Don't worry about it. Not a crash. Oh my god. Man, we are really going through cars, huh? Well, fortunately, there was a car dealership behind that uh, boulder over there. Don't worry. Don't look for it. You're not going to find it. And I bought this used taxi. So we can continue. It's hidden. Only, only members can see it. Don't worry about it. I believe she is a uh, automatic. Parking brakes on. <laughs> huh? Oh, I wasn't in drive either. All right, let's go. I bought this one. I didn't steal it, okay? This one doesn't count as theft. I mean, it's not registered, but that's like a minor illegal compared to everything else we've been doing. Somebody actually asked me member uh, recently when I'm going to activate channel memberships, and I, I'm not. I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't make content nearly enough to justify um, asking you guys to support me monthly. That being said, I wouldn't subscribe to my Twitch either. Like, uh, don't do that. <laughs> I am so inconsistent. Like, your money is better spent on people who actually put out content for their members. Um, so the short answer to that question is never. At least, it's definitely not planned for the time being. Oh, is this mom's house? Mom. Mom, I bought a taxi. Don't don't worry about it. I bought it from a dealership behind a rock. Don't don't worry about it. Can I go in the house? I don't fit on the porch. This is why I moved away. Well, everybody, this has been a journey map by Spencer Johnson called The Long Road, which I totally didn't need to bring up the menu and look at. Ha ha. Ha. Um, my friend in the station wagon doesn't, doesn't seem to have made it yet, but yeah, he'll turn up. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for watching this unusually, uh, frequent line of videos. It won't last, trust me. I have to go back to work eventually. Bye.